Hi there. I'm Phil Weiser, Colorado's Attorney General. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I'm here to nominate Sally Bacella. She's a special public servant, someone who authentically cares about the people in the district, a commitment to improving healthcare, transportation, and education. She's someone who cares about everyone. When I've known Sally, what I've known is someone who's a creative problem solver, who doesn't take ideological knee-jerk positions, but thinks about issues carefully with an eye of how do we get to the right answer? How do we bring people together to solve problems? This is not an easy time for our government. This is a time we're going to look back on and say, did we have the right leaders working on behalf of all of us to develop effective solutions? That's why we need Sally in our state Senate. She'll bring a spirit of problem solving, a commitment to including people and a caring that will be contagious in a good way. We've got big challenges ahead. We've got to be looking to get the right people in public office. So I ask you to join me in supporting Sally. Hi, I'm Gailene Castriata, Mayor Pro Tem for the City and County of Broomfield, here to second the nomination of Sally Bacella for Senate District 23. Sally has been a fierce advocate for mental health equity and a champion for our most vulnerable communities. She's demonstrated her passion for public service by increasing transparency, collaborating regionally, and getting people involved. As an active member of the Democratic Party, she's worked hard to elect progressive candidates, and now it's time to elect her. I hope you join me in supporting Sally for SD23. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sally Bacella, and I am honored to accept the nomination as the Democratic candidate for State Senate District 23. We have waited too long to flip this district. The time is now, and I am the strong candidate that will do it. It is critical that we hold a broader majority in the state Senate. Losing just one seat would set the Senate up for eight years of gridlock on passing any innovative le legislation that benefits all Coloradans. During this health crisis, it has become clear that we need strong leaders who are problem solvers, collaborators, and bridge builders. This unprecedented circumstances has brought into focus critical issues in healthcare, workers' rights, housing, broadband access, and food insecurity. All Coloradans deserve a healthcare system that supports our healthcare workers, facilities, and patients with affordability and efficiency. We have seen our healthcare workers tirelessly working on the front lines in desperate need of personal protective equipment. I am collaborating with local businesses, community members, and schools to secure donations for our nine hospitals that serve our district to help with the state's call to action. This has been a labor of love to be part of an amazing group of innovative and generous community members. Our communities need support right now during the challenges of this health crisis. I have developed and organized a virtual mental health wellness series to provide tools and resources for community members, including parents working from home and out of work parents, homeschooling, and other important topics. Colorado has one of the highest suicide rates in the country. Last year, I helped pass the Youth Mental Health Education and Suicide Prevention Act by testifying at the state capitol on the importance of this policy. I continue to collaborate with schools and community leaders on ways to support students and their families. I am connected to the communities in this district. I volunteer with amazing organizations such as the League of Women Voters, the Endangered Species Coalition, and the Weld Food Bank. I deliver food commodities to seniors in Windsor and help the mobile food pantry in our vulnerable communities. I am the chairperson on the Weld RD5J School District Accountability Committee and I serve on the Citizens Task Force Committee with our Weld County District Commissioner, local municipal elected officials, business owners, and community members to support our schools by successfully introducing a bond and mill levy override on the upcoming ballot. I've worked on research and policy development for wildlife and habitat connectivity strategies, wrote letters to the editor on harmful policy writers, organized constituent meetings with representatives, and publicly testified against harmful rollbacks that weakened the Environmental Protection Agency and the Endangered Species Act through the Federal Register. I will continue to support and work on legislation that protects our land, air, and water. As your state senator, I am committed to the issues of this district and will represent all Coloradans by building coalitions, continued community engagement, inclusive collaboration, and policy development. We can do great things together. 
I would be honored to represent you as your next state senator for District 23. My name is Sally Bacello, and I ask for your vote to be your Democratic nominee for State Senate 23. Thank you.